Hello, and if you want to learn how to resolve the PlayStation DLC waiting to install glitch, watch this short video all the way to the end as I reveal all. Now, I had this exact same problem and spent about an hour browsing the web, the web, sorry, not web, trying to find the solution or fix, ended up having to ring up Sony support, waited like 45 minutes, and yeah, so here are the fixes they gave me. Now, there are different causes for this problem, so obviously there are different fixes. Bear with me as I give you the five most common ones. Let me know if any of these work for you. And now, let's go to the first fix. Now, this one, this solution didn't really work for me, but it worked for a friend, so I thought I'd add it in. There is a glitch with the PlayStation Store where sometimes if you're not actually on the game page then the DLC won't download. So what I mean by that is when you're on this page and you've clicked the download button or install button, just stay on this page, don't get off it, until you see the notification thing pop up in the left-hand corner of the screen saying, yeah, such and such is installed, and you should be good to go. Now, number two, what you should do, just force restart your PSC. PS4, not PS... <laughs> Wow, all right. <laughs> what you need to do is just hold down your power button for eight seconds and it should restart. Now, number three, check to see if your game is up to date. Now, basically, the DLC and the game have to, you know, work together. And the DLC is always up to date if you've just downloaded it straight off the store. So what you want to do is go to home screen, just press the options button on your controller when you're hovering over the game, and then just click check for update and it will check for an update if there's an update download that if there isn't then just move on to the next fix if you haven't already had your problems fixed um okay so this one was actually the thing that was my problem so it's kind of a bit confusing but i'll try and explain it i bought the star wars battlefront off a disc so and i bought it from america when i was there now when i got home to australia I bought the season pass about a couple of months later. And it's kind of like a DVD. So a DVD from America won't really work with a um, DVD player from Australia. So similar kind of concept. DLC won't work with a disc from America if it's been bought in Australia or off the PC, PlayStation 4 store, that kind of thing. So, yeah, you're probably going, oh, yeah, I, you're either going, yeah, well, that's my problem, or you're going... Well, I got my disc as a present or off eBay. I don't know where it's from. Uh, I got it for Mother's Day. No, don't worry. On the disc, there is a code. It's called a C-U-S-A code. Now, it should be about five digits long. When you find your code, just enter it into the Safari or Google search or whatever, and you should it should tell you where your disc is from. Now, finally, sometimes if there's a PS4 store update in the near future... Um, the waiting to install glitch will occur. So I suggest waiting maybe a maximum of 24 hours, and if there hasn't been a store update and you still have the same problem, then either contact me or Sony. I think you can also check for store updates on the Sony website. Anyway, so if you are still having problems after these, these are just the most common fixes. Not all the fixes, just most common. So you can either contact Sony or you can contact me. My email is in the description so, these are the five most common fixes for the PS4 waiting to install glitch. Let me know which one of these worked for you, if any. I also make Star Wars Battlefront funny moments videos, so I hope you want to check them out, because it would mean a lot to me. I spent a lot of time in it, doing them. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.